What's up, y'all? It's Shuffle, and here's my shortest guide possible to Highwayman. Hopefully, it's the shortest guide ever. Anyway, so here's the guide. Pick three other characters. All right, you're good. Like, that's literally all you have to do. But, okay. We're gonna go a little in-depth for a short time limit here, so... Uh, usually, this is your loadout. If the enemies can bleed, then you pick this. Right? And if they can't bleed, you take this. If Even if they can't bleed, this is still okay. But there you go. Oh, we gotta do trinkets. So, you obviously use the most busted Crimson Quartz set. There you go. You don't need anything else. Uh, for quirks, anything that boosts damage or speed. So, this is like a specialized damage thing, but anything that gives you damage, like unerring slug or all that crap. Quick reflexes, awesome. There you go. So, when you camp, you wanna make sure that you press Bandit Sense and then one other thing that boosts damage because you're just trying to kill things. Uh, let's see. What else is there? Oh, we need, we need people. Okay. So, my preferred method is to usually give them like one healer. So, she does 8 to 9 on a single target, and you can make a case for the Occultist, because this does 0 to 22, but that averages to like 10 and a half or 11 or something like that, which is a lot more than 8 to 9, if you notice, but sometimes the Occultist can like roll 0 and crit for 2 and bleed and stuff like that, or he'll crit a heal for 60 when you're at full health, so that's all pretty cool, and you're like, why are you healing a full health shuffle? You know what? Don't ask me these questions. Anyway, so you give him one healer, this person's job is to keep this person alive, because his job is to kill things, and if he's not alive, he can't kill things. Then my preferred way to fill out the rest of the team is to roll a d20. So if you're familiar with d20s, it's a 20-sided dice. They're using a lot of tabletop RPGs. Uh, either their d20 system or d100 or something like that. But a d20 usually shows up at some point. If you roll a 1, which is the lowest, we don't like natural ones, is what we call them, uh, you're going to get a musketeer. The reason being she faces sideways, which looks really terrible for her model. And she likes to clog the loot pool with her crappy trinkets that do not overlap with the arbalest. So all she's doing is taking up stagecoach and loot space. The 18 to 20 range is going to be your critical hit range on your D20. So if you're rolling 18 to 20, so 18, 19, or 20, you can give yourself another highwayman. That's pretty cool. And then assign the other numbers, so 2 to 17, as you see fit for the other characters in the game. And you should be able to fill out the roster that way. So just roll it a couple more times after you pick a healer. And then just go to the zone, as we've been talking about, so uh, just start pressing the buttons. And if you get to camp, press the damage buttons, and then just kill everything, because there's really no thought to this character besides just putting him in rank 2. Oh, the reason we put him in rank 2 is so we can duel Savants on turn 1, and then point blank after. And, uh, yeah. Good luck in Darkest Dungeon. Thanks for watching. Please clap.